Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, February 27th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have an incredible drawing to show you this morning. This is the Jesuit Martyrs of Japan. It is from the 1500s. The Jesuits came to Japan to share the story of Jesus, but the Japanese found their message to be threatening. It scared them. It's They had a good way of life. They had rules and order and a very strict culture, and so they just killed them, crucified them all. Fear can do that to a human being. We can turn from being loving and kind to absolutely ferocious if we feel threatened, just like the animals. Back an animal into a corner and, sh and you'll see. But when and how our fear takes hold of us is, is fascinating. Here we have a highly respected civilized culture that just brutally murders these monks. Why? Why do we get so afraid of difference? And speaking of fear, we encounter something difficult in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians today. Remember that Paul was a very obsessive Pharisee before he encountered Christ on the road to Damascus. And some of that vehemence of his Pharisaic self remains with him even after his conversion. So he's heard that in Corinth, in the church, there is a man who's living with, cohabitating with his stepmother, his father's wife. Paul is appalled, no pun intended. But he says to the community, instead of trying to work with the guy at all, he says, just cast him out. Cast him out because it is like yeast. It'll leaven the whole loaf. If you keep this guy in your community, he's going to corrupt everybody and everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket. So just get rid of him and keep your community pure. Here's where I struggle with Paul. And it's okay to struggle with Paul, just like we struggle with everyone we love. We don't agree with everybody. You don't have to agree with Paul. You just have to think and pray about his words. In this instance, I think it's too tough. Why not meet with the guy? Why not explain that this is in Jewish law, by the way, it was forbidden to sleep with your stepmother. Seemed like a good idea not to permit that. but <laughs> So Paul says, just cast him out. We deal with the, this at the cathedral all the time. We have an incredible homeless population all around us and we love having them with us, but sometimes someone's so mentally ill that they start screaming or they rush at me while I'm trying to preach a sermon, which is very, very distracting, or they scare people. And so there are times where we have to say, you can't come in. You need to get sober or we need to get you some help. But we do have an, another service though that we can send them to, which is called the Church Without Walls, which is a homeless service where people can just do the craziest things and it's okay. But even there, there may be a time where someone has to leave. Where do you draw the line? A community has to be safe. You can't worship God if you're scared. We have one guy that smells so bad that no one wants to sit anywhere near him, but he still comes in because smell is not going to kill us. It's just uncomfortable. <laughs> How do we decide? Once you have a community, you have to have some boundaries or you can't have health. Paul's boundaries are too strict for me. I think this guy deserved at least a meeting and given a chance to stop living with the lady, but Paul didn't think so. It's all about discernment and only you with God and your community can try to do these things with love and attention and forethought. Let us pray. Almighty God, when we encounter things that scare us, help us not to lose our minds, but to rest in you and to pray. Help us to respond in love with creative solutions and alternative actions. Help us to try to steer people towards wellness and not to kill them off just because they're different or frightening. We ask you, Lord, to bless and comfort the sick today. I will pause and let you who watch this video name those 
who you want to pray for, name them aloud before God. Oh, Holy One, in this season of Lent, we are so sorry. We are so sorry for the ways in which we as a human race have hurt each other, the ways we have killed one another, done violence to one another, or just erased one another from existence. Forgive us. Bring peace to this world. Awaken us to a deeper understanding of what it means to love. Give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us and help us to love it as well. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who died for us to show us another way. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.